So uh, to can continue, guys, uh, for the opinion spot with uh, movies, cast of movies of 2011, uh, I got another uh, cast of for the Thor movie uh, that comes out once again, 2011, another uh, big blockbuster that should be for the other uh, Marvel. And uh, of course, Thor is, of course, the residential god of thunder of the Marvel Universe. Perhaps one of my favorite Marvel heroes. Uh, my top ten, of course. And uh, let's get to it, shall we? Um, and we're going to start off, of course, with the main star who's going to be playing Thor. And that's uh, Chris Hemsworth, as you see right here. Uh, not too much I know about Chris Hemsworth is that I know he did soap opera in his native Australia, but I did see him as played, I think, Kurt's father in J.J. Abraham's revision of the uh, the uh, Star Trek movie. Um, but him playing Thor is pretty interesting. I would, I'm very interested to see how they portray him as Thor in this. Uh, but it should be pretty good. I hopefully, hopefully, we see good things from Mr. Hemsworth. Um, and Odin, of course, is Sir Anthony Hopkins, of course. Uh, what a very established actor. Everybody should know this guy's name. Uh, he will be playing Odin. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, for my generation, we all know him as, of course, as Hannibal Lecter. But he is such a, such a great actor. Never seen this guy green or have a shitty performance in any of his, his work. Uh, so well versatile, and I'm I can't wait to see uh, Mr. Uh, Hopkins play Odin very well. Hopefully, well I shouldn't say hopefully, very well definitely, because that's Anthony Hopkins, bro. Now who's playing Loki is Tom Hiddleston, and uh, another actor I don't know too much about, but he looks the part. And he will play the half brother of Loki, uh, the trickster, you know, the the thorn of of uh, Thor's side, you know, half brother of Thor, you know. And um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna, I I can't wait just to see the costumes as well as their portrayal as these great great characters of the Thor universe. So it's it's always gonna be great seeing. So it's going to be great seeing Mr. Hedleston play um, Loki as well. Now, a big surprise was Rene Russo, who we haven't seen in a while. Haven't seen in a while on screen. Um, and she's going to be the adopted mother of uh, half the stepmother of Loki and and uh, Thor, uh, Frigga. And of course, she is the queen of Asgard, you know. Uh, even though we know um, Gaia is really uh, Thor's birth mother, but this Frigga is uh, is uh, Thor's stepmother. So it's it's going to be seen good to see Miss Renee Russo back. And now for the Warriors Three, we all know who the Warriors Three are, should we? We all should know who that was. And starting off with is Joshua Dallas who replaced Stuart Townsend as Fandol. Um as you see right there Fandol is the leader of the Warriors 3. Uh they have all three of these are very close allies and friends of Thor. Uh Fandol is he he doesn't look like your typical uh muscular or stereotypical version of a viking or Norse mythology god, you know, but he is very sh shallant, very Trent, and he just comes off looking like almost like a musketeer in some way. But it's gonna be cool to see it. Now, as who's playing um, Hogan is uh, Tanabu Asano. Now, I've seen Asano's son in one movie, and it was in uh, Blind. Blind Swordsman Zarachi and it was good I really enjoyed that movie 
Um, so it's going to be good to see him come on as Hogan. Uh, Hogan is a very, very... He's mostly the silent, wa silent warrior, but he is very much a warrior at heart. Uh, and he, he loves to hunt as well. Uh, so it's going to be see, good to see Hogan on make his debut on big screen as well. And as for Volstagg, the comic relief is played by Ray Stevenson. Uh, Ray Stevenson will play Volstagg. And uh, Ray Stevenson has admitted that they will be fitting him with a fat suit to give him kind of whole, uh, Volstagg's rotund look. But they're not trying to make him look too fat and comic relief and too much of a joke. Because Volstagg is no joke. He is no joke um, just because of his size. Uh, but it's going to be good to see Ray Stevenson back because Ray Stevenson has played a Marvel hero before and he's worked with the director Kenneth Brangan before so it's going to be good to see uh, Ray Stevenson back uh, as uh, back up for Marvel now another surprise is Idris uh, Elba is playing Heimdall uh, the all seeing all knowing God that protects the Bifrost village, the, I mean village, the Bifrost uh, bridge. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna be very interesting to see that because hence he is uh, black uh, African American, excuse me, not American, uh, black British. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see that, and that was the, probably the biggest shocker right there and I've talked to a lot of my friends that said wow that was an interesting choice to go with for Heimdall but you know who knows he might steal the show he might do a great performance as Heimdall now for the love interest we have Jamie Alexander who is gonna play Lady Sif who plays the love interest of Thor uh, and there were many talks of, you know, Jessica Biel was going to play her. Uh, I would have enjoyed seeing Jessica Biel play her. I, I love her. Um, but I don't know too much about Jamie Alexander because I don't watch uh, the show. All I know is she's from the show Kyle uh, XY, you know, um, but I don't know too much about her. So, you know, once again, it's, we got to see how she's going to do. But she's a warrior at heart. Lady Sif is badass. Uh, but she is. The, she's one hell of a woman. And another love interest. Uh, is going to play by Natalie Portman. As uh, Nurse Jan Foster. The love interest of Donald Blake. But she loved both Donald Blake and Thor. In the beginning. She knew both. Both alter egos. She knew who both of them was. So it's going to be good to see uh, Natalie Portman. I enjoy Natalie Portman. Uh, I think she's a very talented actress, though sometimes she can be a little frail sometimes, but it's going to be good seeing Natalie Portman uh, come on. When she said why she, was, why she chose the role, she just said, I thought it was weird, and she's worked with the director before and said, you know, what the hell. And of course, we all know Sam Jackson is going to be going to repraising his role as Nick Fury in this. Uh, take a look. There you go. A picture of him from the Ultimate Series. Now, does that look like Samuel Jackson or what? Now, you can see why he would want to play, play Nick Fury. But other than that, there are other actors and actresses that are going to be in this movie. But those are like the major, major roles in the movie. Uh, as once again, like I said for the Green Lantern uh, cast, I think there's a pretty decent cast once again established actors and actresses with unknown lesser known actors actors and actresses that are getting their big break and once again a balance a very good balance uh, for the Thor movie I can't wait to see this movie once again it's building up towards that Avengers movie uh, I hope I'm looking forward to seeing the costumes uh, for these uh, what I've heard so far for Thor his costume is gonna be a mixture of the classic and what he wears today so I don't mind that as long as they don't do the ultimate uh, costume because I don't like his ultimate look at all um, it should be very very good to see uh, the premise of the movie is in the beginning Thor is basically a little arrogant little brash 
that nearly started an ancient war between Asgardians and I'm, I'm guessing another race of Asgard and he'd been cast down in human as a human as Dr. Donald Blake to sh to be taught the true and he learns what it truly means to be a hero I like that point. I think that's very cool and it's good it's gonna see how just succeed really well so you tell me what you guys think <laughs>